Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neon and welcome back to another Shindo Life video and in today's video we will be checking out the Bruce Kanichi Bloodline. Now the Bruce Kanichi Bloodline is a very good overall bloodline. It is a bloodline that is just excellent for combo extending. The C and Q spec are very good and all the um, all the moves combo into one another so it's a really good combo uh, extender bloodline. Um, but yeah, basically it's just really good. It's a pretty rare bloodline but it's still very good overall. It's been nerfed a few times. But, um, yeah, for the most part, it's still a very decent bloodline, but let's get right into it. So, the first thing that we're going to do is mode up, and as you can see, only one form, but uh, that's basically all you need. Uh, and in terms of looks, we can see that we're just kind of, like, shirtless, and, well, we have, like, this cool little white aura around us. And we're kind of uh, in, like, the MMA kind of styled um, kind of positioning, and that's basically it. Now you can see the stats on the uh, on the right, and they're pretty okay. Like I said, this mode has been nerfed a few times, and as you can see, also the M1s look pretty cool. So the first move that we're going to test out is called the Sixth Dance, and as you can see, it's a combo extending move, which just launches them in the sky, does about 40,000 damage with the mode on, and for the most part, that's basically it. Now we just have to wait for the, the cooldown to charge down, because the second move can only be used in... A uh, quick disclaimer I forgot to mention in the video... Once you're in the mode of Bruce Kanichi, the second ability just becomes a point and click ability. But if you're not in the mode, it just becomes an air combo only ability. Air combos, as you can see. Um, well, that one is, uh, let me see, that one was the second move. Um, and then the last move is called Tiger Lotus. You have, it's a point and click one. You just launch them in the air and it does, does a, fair amount, a fair amount of damage. Now, um, as you can see, the M1s do not knock back as much as they used to before. But that's really the only thing that they changed, and they nerfed the stats a little bit, and also the damage, and uh, just some of the moves. Now, uh, for the last two things that we're going to do is the C-Spec, as you can see. Yeah, this is probably by far one of the coolest moves in Shindo Life at the moment. This is a really good way of dealing damage uh, to your opponent without getting hit yourself, and it also ragdolls at the end, and it does 80,000 damage. Now, the last move that we have is the Q-Spec, or the Weapon Spec. It's a really good ability for just kind of getting away from your opponent and also deals some knockback damage and it also deals about 65,000 damage with mode give or take depending on how much you land of the attack. But that's pretty much it for all of the bloodline moves. Okay, so now my friend over here, he's going to mode up real quickly. We're both just going to mode up and uh, get into the Bruce Kanichi form one. And uh, he is going to do the first move on me so that you can see kind of what it does overall. As you can see, it's an air combo. I can't really do anything about that. Um... Yeah, uh, he's going to have to uh, wait a little bit, but as you can see, another really cool thing about this bloodline is that when you're in the form, like when you're in the bloodline uh, mode itself, the second ability no longer becomes an air only kind of combo extender, it becomes a point and click. Um, but yeah, and now he's going to do the last ability. There we go. So you can see, it's a pretty good damage dealing ability, and now he's going to do the C-Spec real quick. There we go. So you can see, I cannot do anything during this. Iframes do not work on this. Uh, also, you cannot block during this, and it also ragdolls at the end, like I said. And last but not least, he's just going to do the Q-Spec real quick, just so that y'all can kind of see what it does. 64,000 damage, the exact same that I did to him almost. And that's basically it. For the most part, that's pretty much all that Bruce Kanichi has to offer. It's a really good bloodline overall. Now, would I recommend using this? Definitely. If you have a spare slot, if you have like three bloodline slots, this is one of the best bloodlines you can use for combo extending in the game as of right now. It's not as good as it used to be, but it's still about as good, if not better, and than like Doom Shadow, Ryuji Kanichi, some of those type of bloodlines. It's a pretty rare one, but it's still overall just a very good bloodline for... Those who just want to get started combo extending overall, but that's basically it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want more, uh, just tell me in the comments what bloodlines you want to see next. We're very close to 200 subscribers, so if you like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe. But apart from that, there's not much else to say, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So yeah, peace out guys.